Hello friends, how are you doing today? In this video, I'll talk about CPU and GPU, covering what they are, how are they different, and which one to use under what circumstances. To start with, let's say you and your friend are planning to play a game, Call of Duty, on your respective laptops. Now you have an Intel i7 processor, but you don't have a graphics card. On the other hand, your friend has a laptop with an i5 processor with a decent graphics card. Which laptop do you think will provide a better gaming experience? Do share your responses in the comment section below. And yes, your friend's laptop having a GPU will do a better job in most likely scenario. Now to understand the specific reasons on why is it so, let's go deeper into the high level functioning of CPU and GPU. So CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. The CPU can have multiple processing cores and is commonly referred to as brain of the computer. It is a general purpose processor which processes all the general tasks you perform on your computer or on your laptop like documentation, calculations, playing movies, music, web browsing. And a critical thing to remember is that CPUs do sequential processing. So to give you an analogy, consider CPU like a fighter jet, which is extremely fast and flexible, but it is not designed to carry a huge payload. So a fighter jet can bring one small block of cargo really fast but it might take weeks to carry thousands of uh, these cargo pieces. Two of the top CPU manufacturers in the market today are Intel and AMD. On the other hand, GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. The GPU is a processor that is made up of many smaller and more specialized cores. And by working together, the cores deliver massive performance when a processing task can be divided up and processed across many cores. It is a specific purpose processor that handles only graphics with the help of parallel computing. There are two types of GPUs, integrated or dedicated. Integrated GPU, as the name suggests, is integrated within the processor and it consumes the internal processor's memory. On the other end, dedicated GPU is a standalone piece of hardware with its own dedicated memory. So it's better suited for resource intensive works like deep learning, high end gaming, etc. Similar to CPUs, there are majorly two main providers of GPU in the industry, Nvidia and AMD. And here are some of the top Nvidia GPUs in 2022. Talking about the parameters, CUDA cores or stream processors are basically the processing cores for NVIDIA or AMD GPUs respectively. Now at this point, let's understand the key differences between the CPU and GPU. And the first one of course is processing speed. As I said, CPU provides the computing power to the computer to perform daily general tasks, whereas a GPU has specific intended use of handling simpler but multiple calculations that require parallel computing. For example, graphics processing or training a heavy deep learning model like convolution neural networks are good places to use GPU. The second difference is computing architecture. Now, CPUs do serial processing of multiple tasks. In our fighter jet analogy, the fighter jet has to go to and fro with each load to transfer those thousands of load. On the other hand, GPU does parallel processing. So think of it like a huge carrier which could transfer all the thousand pieces in a single go. And that's where GPU's architecture comes in handy on these specific tasks. The third difference is the number of cores. Now, CPUs have relatively lesser number of cores, but each of these cores are quite capable and powerful. And you might have heard of dual core processors or quad core processors, octa core processors, etc. 
GPUs on the other hand have CUDA cores or stream processors which are proprietary technologies developed by NVIDIA and AMD respectively which are the leading GPU manufacturers. Now specific to machine learning, the choice between a CPU and GPU really depends on the type of task you want to work with and the size of your training data. For example, there are specific machine learning algorithms that might not require parallel computing at all. For example, support vector machine or time series data while you are working with limited data sets. On the other hand, there are deep learning algorithms that require parallel computing. For example, object detection models or transformers. By the way, we cannot exclude CPU from any machine setup because CPU provides a gateway for data to travel from these sources to GPU cores. If the CPU is weak and GPU is strong, the user may face a bottleneck on CPU usage. Talking specifically about GPUs, they are very well suited for deep learning models that can take advantage of the GPU parallel processing abilities like CNNs and RNNs. Deep learning algorithms were actually adopted to use GPU acceleration approach, making the training of several real world problems practically feasible. And till the time GPUs were not as evolved, it was really difficult to run these deep learning models. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you now have a solid understanding of what CPU and GPU are. By the way, if you are working on a deep learning project for which you require a GPU, then there are free online platforms like Google Collab, Kaggle, etc. In the next video, I'll provide you top five places to get a free GPU online for training your deep learning models. So do subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to get a notification of all our next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.